Greetings everyone, future feature film director, the rookie critic here, and for those that do not know, I'm a big old fan of Power Rangers. I grew up with it watching from Mighty Morphin to SPD, and even now as an adult, I can look back on it fondly and notice the good moments that are in it, and of course the corny stuff that's not as great as the rest, but it's all good. I love that show anyway, and I'd like to thank The Rant for pointing this article out to me. It looks like the Power Rangers reboot will reportedly feature a trans ranger. Now before I give my actual opinion on this, I'm going to go ahead and read it, and then respond. So I'm going to put on my glasses here for me, because I can't see for shit. <clears throat> Lionsgate's Power Rangers reboot from 2017 wasn't quite the hit that the studios were hoping for, but the thing about it that was widely praised by everyone was the increased diversity of the team. Uh, to be fair, the original 90s show had an Asian American as well as an African American actor in the cast, but the most recent movie included a few more firsts. An autistic ranger, Blue, and another, Yellow, who was hinted to be gay. The project was officially announced last December with the end of the effing world's Jonathan Entwistle directing. And it seems the studio 100% intends to continue what the previous film did and increase the diversity of the ranger team lineup, offering even more major breakthroughs for the franchise. Alrighty, now... For anybody that's watched the actual Power Rangers series and like going through the whole series, every single team has a diverse lineup. When I see this as this is what the newest movie is trying to do, it makes me want to facepalm because they've had three Power Rangers movies, the Mighty Morphin one from back in the 90s, and they had the Turbo Power Rangers movie, and the 2017 one. None of them are fantastic films. They're not all horrible films either. There's things in each of them that can be pointed to be pretty good or nostalgic or, you know, corny, funny, or whatever. There's things about them that are okay, but they're mostly widely bad movies. They're not all that good. So when Paramount is trying to say that so when I hear Paramount is trying to like focus more on making a diverse team rather than trying to make a good Power Rangers movie or a good story, that kind of gets on my nerves. On the show, I'm actually surprised they haven't already made a trans Power Ranger, but I think that on the show they could actually make that work because I'm sure, well, I would hope that they don't just make the fact that they're trans one of the main focuses because on the show they never focus too much on somebody's race or gender or sexuality. Like, that's not usually part of it because it's Power Rangers. It's not about that. They can be present, but that's not what anything focuses on. If anybody was gay in the Power Rangers show, like as a character was gay, I don't think we would really care as long as they don't just make it about, oh, an episode where, oh, just he's trying to find his boyfriend and he's not upset. Like, that's, usually they don't do that. Usually they'd still be good characters as they are. You could even have them hold hands. I don't care. Uh, they could have probably fit one in the show, but it's just when they make, like, all these external things, uh, you know, the focus, it doesn't really work for Power Rangers. Power Rangers is just not usually about that. They make other issues and other problems and there's other, you can make some things out of it, I'm sure, but for a movie and based on how a lot of movies are trying to go these days where they put all these extra things first, the diversity, sexuality, gender first before story, writing, what's the point of this in the first place, that really annoys me. I hear, I hear in a different article that they want to do time travel and go back to the 90s. And it's like, do you guys not at all know what the hell you're doing? I'm not saying that you can't do time travel. They've done time travel in Mighty Morphin and in Time Force, of course. That's what the whole thing is about. But they make it work for what it is. And as far as films go, it's kind of hard to nail time travel with films. They usually, I don't know, just lately... They rely too much on time travel, in my opinion, and for Power Rangers, you don't need that to be where you start. In a different article, I saw them mention how the Red Ranger might be a girl, which that would be totally fine, honestly, if they did that. But I think what they're missing is that the leader doesn't need to be the Red Ranger, even though I know that in the main Sentai series, that's usually what it is. The Red Ranger is usually the male and the leader. But there are many instances, like with Time Force, where Jen is the Pink Ranger, and she's technically the leader of the group, or they have Taylor and Wild Force, where she at least was the leader of the group for a very long time. You could have other leaders that aren't specifically the Red Ranger. Uh, you can you can have a girl be the Red Ranger though if you want to. I don't think people would care about that. That that to me isn't really you know swapping anything. It's not a gender swap, race swap because there's so many new teams all the time. That wouldn't really bother me. But 
if they're trying to be the Mighty Morphin team themselves, uh, I mean, I don't know why they would want to, because... I, I just don't think they can make that work on screen. We saw the show. If you're going to do a Power Rangers thing, do it brand new. And I say you could have a Trans Ranger if you want, but just don't make that the whole point. If you just make it a focus of, you know, oh, they're being discriminated because they're trans, and but I'd be kind of annoyed because they just don't normally do that in Power Rangers. They don't make that the focus of a problem. They usually make other things, like if that person lost their family or they, uh, you know, have they failed something, they they can make other emotional parts to the character that isn't just focusing on that, but I'm sure that's what they would do. I don't know, it just seems like they're going to focus more on how can we look by doing these, how many points can we score by making our team as diverse as physically possible, and rather than making a good story, and that's just, you know, like, why even bother at that point if that's what you're doing? Just try to make a good story and then fill out what you want the ranger characters to be last, that's all that I'm saying. I'll have more Power Ranger videos coming in the future. This is my first one doing it kind of like this. I don't normally read the articles, but that's what I got to say for today. So have a great rest of your day. Hello there, fellow movie lovers. I am very passionate about film and hope to become a director someday. Right now, I'm working on an eight-episode movie series called The Rookie's Legends, set to release in July of 2020. My GoFundMe, Patreon, and PayPal are in the description below if you wish to support it. You'll see more film-centric videos that are not just movie reviews coming very soon, guys. And I recommend that everyone go and check out the Fandom Collective YouTube channel and Twitter, where we try to help YouTubers unite and rise together. And before before we close out, I do have a P.O. Box if you wish to send me any movies or comics or something. Thank you everyone, and have a great rest of your day.